uh, we're moving on to our uh, next uh, speaker. That's Rupa Nagraj. Um, I personally don't cover cricket as much, but I spoke to Rupa and I am all thrilled about what she's doing in, in UAE. And she's a former cricketer. She plays cricket and, and she's basically um, running this program in, in, in UAE with the national team. Uh, and she's a level three certified professional tennis coach. Uh, sorry, cricket coach. That's again, cricket. Cricket is something I, I have to struggle with. But Rupa, please educate me, educate others like me as to what you're doing, because I think we have so much to learn from you. Cool. Thank you so much, Natasha. Can you hear, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Okay, fantastic. It's been a fantastic one hour conversation with all the athletes, I and mean, I'm awestruck to be frank with you. Mm -hmm. First of all, thanks mm -hmm. so much for having having me here today. Uh, my journey, I think uh, I started uh, when I was in high school. Uh, again, I started playing cricket with my with my brothers on roads of Bangalore. So being born and brought up in Bangalore, uh, it's culturally, I think uh, after you finish your 10th standard, you have to decide, like uh, Nisha Ma'am said, uh, you need to decide if you're going to take up uh, medicine or you have to take up engineering, especially you're coming, if you're coming from a uh, certain part of India. You need to be really focused. Today, I want to share my challenges that I faced as a cricketer. Uh, firstly, apart from participation, apart from the support from the family, apart from the funds and stuff, uh, the challenges I want to talk is in the career. So though you have graduated, though you have a double graduation, it's really challenging for us to it's really challenging for us to find a job because if you look at it 20 years down the lane, down the lane we still have only one organization that actually recruits women cricketers in india so apart from railways there's no other organization that supports and promotes women's cricket in india so the biggest challenge was to get a job and uh, it was a booming time uh, back in india back in bangalore but all the software uh, software companies were set up and things like that in 2000 10 to 2015, I think. And that's when all of us graduated. And uh, But still, we had a lot of challenges in finding a job. Okay, so after you find a job, number one is the number of roles or number of roles that is allocated to the women. Uh, when you go in for the interview, most of the job or most of the positions were actually decided that, oh no, this is for the male and not no female should be recruited for this position. It was really sad for uh, to know Though you are ambitious, though you are competitive, though you know that you're better, that is one thing that uh, I think all female athletes or, or being a woman we really find a bias in the opportunity that we get. And secondly, the uh, the challenge that I equal pay. I mean, uh, I, it still makes you wonder why is it so challenging for us to stand up for ourselves? And uh, even if you stand up, you're not treated equally, and you're not paid in line with. Uh, a male, male uh, colleague or uh, male uh, uh, player. So that's that's one of the other challenges that I uh, still face. And uh, so finished with India, I tried uh, quitting sport and then I decided to continue my uh, work and then I got a job in Dubai. So once I'm moved in Dubai, it's really difficult to keep a player or uh, a player who has played uh, first class cricket or represented India for so long quite to sit at home and then uh, continue going to work. So I decided to, to go back and uh, play cricket. So I started searching for a place to go and uh, play cricket. But unfortunately, there was no cricket happening here for girls. I mean, that that was an eye-opener for me that, uh, that there is no cricket team in the UAE. And uh, I think uh, that day I decided that uh, I'm going to start a women's team here. And uh, no matter what... Uh, my goal was to qualify for the World Cup. And it's been a great journey now. It's been uh, five years down the lane. And we have I started a program called uh, Get Into Cricket Girls Program. Uh, any girl in the UAE can uh, come and participate who's above the age of eight years. So she will be trained for free on a Friday morning. Uh, if you look at it, uh, it's very challenging. One is if you're a girl daughter, it's a difficult for any parent, even during it starts at home, to be frank with you. I have parents telling me uh, for Friday morning, it's difficult to come and drop a daughter. So it's if it's a son, it's absolutely fine. They can get up. So so I've made sure that we have different sessions happening across UAE 
wherein any girl in the UAE can come and participate for free. And uh, we have around 150 girls uh, who are actually playing cricket and uh, we have played two World Cup qualifiers. I think that is the biggest win of all the battles. Now, I would like to uh, say uh, just three things. I mean, I want all women to speak up, stand for themselves. And then if they are right, I think uh, they should take up and work for the leadership roles. And that's the only way that uh, sport for women will change anywhere. Uh, that's it. I mean, that's my story here in the UAE.